you still you did, did not answer the question. I understand, I understand why you didn't answer the question. What you asked. Why would you ask me that? Is what because you said. I was offended by that. We're having a conversation about intentions and actions and whether you respond to the intentions of a person or the actions of a person. In the moment when we were intensely fellowshipping, I'm, all, I'm familiar with intention. I know your intentions and they're never malicious. But my response isn't to your intention. My response is towards the action or your response to me. So what I asked Dell um, is to, in the moment, if she feels pinched or offended by something, if she could just take a moment and not respond in that offense, I think that would be ideal because um, in responding to that offense, I feel like, you know, she's, in some ways she sets the or changes the tone of the conversation because my intention of course is never to offend no, or pinch you set, the, you set the tone of the conversation by starting the conversation with your tone i respond and reacted to the tone that you set now i may have heightened it or i may have taken it to another level i i knew that that was going to be a moment of contention for you yeah, because you put it on me because I'm again I'm dealing with intention not action it's like I understand and I agree with Del's perspective as it relates to her saying that I ultimately set the tone of the conversation by my actions but that's what we're ultimately talking about is how the difference in how you react to action versus intention basically dictates that so for her, the action is what's most important. I would dare to say, in my opinion, intention doesn't even matter. If intention, yeah, I guess not. The reason why intention doesn't matter is because we're already good there. What do you mean? Like, it would be different if I didn't know your intention and I came at you, like, just full throttle with all anger and hostility, you know what I mean? Because I'm now combining intention with the action and I feel like I'm not it's not about your intention and what you intended to do I'm I'm responding to what you did mm -hmm. or what you said or I'm reacting to it and it's tough you know what I mean because you know if I'm being challenged to go toe-to-toe -to -toe, then I'm willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you because that's that's been the that's what I'm accustomed to it's it's who I am, and that's based off of just the beginning of the marriage and, and how you were towards me. In addition to life and how life has cultivated me to be that way. I've always been a fighter, you know, as a result of just circumstances and trauma in life. You know, I, I decided a long time ago I'm not going to be silenced. I have a point to make. I will be heard, you know, so on and so forth. So that plays a role and what all that basically means to me is that's baggage not just my baggage but it, it is baggage that we you know have the main takeaway for me as it relates to what I was asking Del to do is to not respond in her offense what that looks like ideally is you know I'm offended, let me take a moment because I, I don't really want to respond in my um, the immediacy of my offense. Because how it played out was uh, when I asked a question about what we were talking about. Yeah, what was the question? It was this, you know, I'd like to have this conversation, but I desire, do you think that we can have the conversation on the even? No, it was like your question had more to do with like, with me 
Like, I would like to have this conversation. Will we be able to have this conversation without you being in this emotional state that you're in? That's you. That's not exactly what I said. That's not so, what you said, but that's what you... But I feel like you asked what my question was. Okay, so then let me ask this. So what was your intention then? My intention was to see if we could have the conversation. Without me being emotional. With, that, that's fair. So I, I don't know if that's fair, but I'll say that's that's somewhat accurate. I can live with that. The intention was... I wanted to know if we could have a conversation on a somewhat even playing field, void of the emotion. But if we could not, that's okay too. I just want to know. But you didn't say that. I didn't get there because you you didn't answer the question. You were like, why would you ask me that? Like, why are you even asking me no, that? No, because you didn't, you didn't say that in your original question. Say what? Like, you're, like you asked me the question... Which was cool. Well, I mean, it wasn't cool, but you asked me the question, and then um, that's when I began to respond. You never, you never, you never. This is the point. You never answered the question, though. Right. I would have answered the question differently had you tacked on that other piece. Uh, you know, I mean, it was a question. I feel like. But, but, but you left that... it on me, though. You left it on me as though, like, can we have this conversation? with you being in a better or in a different space than what you're in right now. You if still you did we, not answer the question. I understand, I understand why you didn't I answer the question. To what you asked. Why would you ask me that is what because you said. Because I was offended by that. So? Because I was I took it as why are you asking me whether or not I'm willing to have a conversation without being emotional when I am affected by the circumstances. I feel like oh, that's fair, but to the overall point, I was just saying that if you could not respond immediately in your offense or your pinched nature, then maybe the question that you followed up with after my question would have been different. It would have felt different. It would have sounded different. I agree. I, I, I think that, that's reasonable.